So photodynamic therapy is a light-based technology, as you mentioned, and uh, it's dependent on both the use of light and a, a drug that's activated by a certain wavelength of light. And there are several areas that continue to expand uh, in the area of photodynamic therapy. One is use of it for um, cancer treatment. Uh, it's been known in that area for many decades now, but it's been expanding into new areas for, of treatment, uh, such as pancreatic cancer, cholangiocarcinoma, uh, using it to treat recurrent ovarian cancer. It's very difficult um, to treat cancers, um, as well as more straightforward cancers, such as skin cancer. So it actually covers a wide uh, array of cancer treatment. Uh, head and neck cancers and others looking into lung cancer and breast cancer treatment as well. Um, so, so the cancer treatment aspect has been long standing but continues to expand. Uh, the um, other areas which are expanding actually fairly rapidly are the use of photodynamic therapy as an antimicrobial uh, treatment to kill antibiotic resistant biofilms which are known to cause many diseases in humans from uh, common ones such as chronic sinusitis, uh, bronchitis, uh, infections in joints, um, that sort of thing. And so that area actually has been um, rapidly expanding both from a basic science standpoint, but actually there are a number of areas that are in active clinical trial. Um, and so that's very promising. The third area, which is uh, really starting to burgeon, is the use of um, photodynamic therapy is an anti-inflammatory um, treatment uh, because uh, those of us have used it both in cancer therapy and actually in the antimicrobial uh, treatment have noted um, that there is an effect both on wound healing um, uh, after treatment as well as uh, a, a reduction in anti-inflammatory effect in certain situations. Well, the Pan American Photodynamic Therapy Association, which is a relatively new um, association, uh, is designed actually to create an interaction between the basic science, uh, the preclinical uh, science, as well as the uh, clinical science of, uh, er of these various areas of treatment that I just mentioned in photodynamic therapy, both, both cancer, antimicrobial, um, and anti inflammatory, creating that key interaction. Um, that allows for bringing these technologies from basic science into the clinical arena and then hopefully through um, uh, regulatory approvals uh, so that they can be used uh, broadly.